Well, Chris Popper joined by Brandy Marchetti here at Bar Harbor Bank and Trust. And it's Relay for Life this Saturday. It's hard to believe. It's just like, it's, it's four days away. Yeah. It's crazy. So just give us a little recap. Um, it, Relay for Life has changed. It's just one day event this year. Yep. Kicks off with the survivors and caregivers lap. At what time? So from survivor and caregivers start at one o'clock. However, the relay opens at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Okay. Yep. So if you, there's still plenty of room for people to participate. Absolutely. There's plenty of room in both the Relay for Life and the 5K Fun Run. We do have prizes for the 5K, so we are looking for people to join and, and have fun with that. All right. The 5K, uh, what time does that step off? That kicks off at 11 o'clock. Okay. And that everything is up at the Ellsworth Elementary Middle School yep. at the track behind Dunkin' Donuts. Absolutely. Yep. Registration opens at 10 o'clock for the Fun Run Walk. Um, so people can don't want to run, they can walk it. There are prizes for male and female adults and for children as well, for boy and girl, child. Uh, this year's theme overall is what? Carnival for a Cure. So it'll be all kinds of bounce houses, carnival games. Uh, we're trying to get cotton candy. You know, we have the bounce house coming. Um, it, it's going to be fun. A lot of and fun. And there are different uh, themes around that for each lap as well, or each hour. Yes, there is, yep. So this year we have our sports theme, our Mr. and Mrs. Relay, which is always a fun event to see, you know, opposite gender swap clothing. Um, we have backwards hour. We also have Mena hour, which is new this year, which is dressed like we normally would, whether that be in camo or, you know, your flannels. Flannel, right? Yeah, yep. exactly, yep. So there's all kinds of fun hours coming up, crazy hat hour. Uh, you know, just it's different just, things. They're fun things to just make make the day go by. Yep, it is. And all of the all the money that's raised, it, it it's to help fight cancer and find yep. a cure. Definitely is. Yeah. Again, like we said last week, you know, it's about having that resource available twenty four seven to call and just vent to get encouragement to be able to just talk sometimes that's all we need to do as, as people is just talk about it and somebody there that can relate to what's going on in your life at that very moment and that's for you know the person who was recently diagnosed or that spouse of somebody who was recently diagnosed the can american cancer society is available to both of them yeah and again i i've had cancer twice it is um when when someone in a family is diagnosed with cancer, the whole family is is, is, is in this process, and yep. it's just the impact. And unfortunately, everybody knows somebody that has um, has been diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, I was doing my luminaria bags this weekend, and. Uh, unfortunately, I think I've done out almost 20 bags, and that's for people in honor or in memory of, you know. So it's, yeah, you know at least one person, you know, that, that has been affected. Yeah. So tell us the luminarias, which is, to me, always the most amazing thing. When you walk around the track, and the, the entire track is just lit up yeah. with candles and bag, white bags, with people's names on them. Yeah. What, how much are they? Where can people purchase them, and what time will they start being put out around the track? Wonderful question. So, uh, luminarias are ten dollars each, uh, and that includes the bags. You can pick up bags here at Bar Harbor Bank and Trust. Um, this year's event is also going to include a slideshow. So, for every luminaria purchase, you can have a name put on a slideshow as well as a photograph. Mm -hmm. Photos are needed by Wednesday, tomorrow, which I know is getting short notice, but people can just email those to uh, HancockRelay uh, at Outlook.com, okay. and we'll put those up on our on the slideshow. And like I said, people can pick them up here. The event is gorgeous. It's so, it's, yeah. I don't even know what the word is to say here, but for me, it's my way to reflect on those who I have lost, for those who are still fighting, you know, and, and just take a moment and, and remember where we were and where we're going to be. And if you if you can do nothing else besides come and walk during that time, yeah, it is just amazing, yep. and it'll make you want to participate in 2019's Relay for Life. Yeah, it does, and it really gives us a lot of hope of what's to come. Um, I've invited my parents from out of town to come because I'm like, you've got to see this event. The first year, I stood there and I was just taken back and at awe.
it's, it's beautiful. All right, again, so the luminarias get placed out starting at what time? Uh, so luminarias are going to be placed, I believe, starting at 7 o'clock. And then the book, they'll be lit at? At 9 o'clock. The ceremony begins. Lights out are at 9 o'clock. Um, it is lights out. So for people who are a little bit afraid of the dark or what have you, it is complete pitch black yep, at that the, point. The lights at the track will be will be turned off. Yes, completely off. Yep. All right. But it's just an amazing sight. I would encourage you to come see that. Yep. Come participate. Relay for Life happens whether Mother Nature decides to have a little <laughs> liquid sunshine or sunshine. Yep. It's, it goes on because the fight for cancer goes on and the, the money is, is desperately needed. It is desperately needed. Um, you know, we are a little bit low this year on what we have been raising for funds, but we're hopeful, you know, that Mother Nature is going to be our friend. She's not going to rain on us. And, you know, we'll have a great time. Like I said, there's going to be plenty of on-site on events and fundraising efforts going on. So people can just show up and help support support the people that are there, you know. All okay. right. So it's this Saturday, June 2nd. Um, come out to the Ellsworth Elementary Middle School track. Uh, registration begins at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yep. Um, walk with the survivors. Walk with the caregivers. Come on out. Bring some cash. Uh, bring some checks. Yes. And uh, questions, they can reach out to me. My number is 754 right. Reach out to me. Thanks for watching. Uh, please come support this event and uh, check out all the other uh, videos we have on the WDEA YouTube channel.